Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Just past the top of the hour, we just got done with News Channel 3 Daybreak just a few minutes ago, and as of right now, things are relatively quiet. Again, as we start off the weekend, not really seeing too much of any major possibilities or problems as we get into the early part of the weekend. Maybe looking for some changes coming our direction as we get into around uh, areas close to the end of Sunday and early Monday. The good news at this time is that we're not expecting anything in the way of frozen precipitation, so good news on that, but we may be seeing the possibility of some changes with that taking place as we go into around areas close to Nashville and up into around, say, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Missouri, places like that. Could be getting some rain mixed with snow. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never tuned in here before, this is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. It's a video weather blog giving you the opportunity to tune in and get more information about the forecast. Uh, if you've never tuned in here before, of course, you can get more information here at WRAG.com slash weather. And if you'd like to get more information about the forecast, if you don't want to stick around for all the stuff we've got featured here, information is down at the blue bar at the bottom of your screen. So tune in for more there. And you can also, again, get the forecast the seven day right down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen as well. Don't like what you're seeing here? Want to see something different? Well, don't, again, have anything in the way of long, constant comments in the comment section. Just email me directly. It's a lot easier to do stuff like that and let me know exactly what it is you want to see out there. Currently in the Mid-South, lost my remote control. Currently we're seeing again some pretty chilly conditions out across the area and if you're heading out the door pretty soon it is going to be another cold one into the Mid-South. Good morning to everybody who's checking in across much of the area for right now. If you're in the Mid-South let us know where you are. Drop that into the comments section. Give us a location and if you've got it a weather report let's see what the weather is in your particular location. If you're outside the Mid-South area wherever you're checking into welcome to the area and for this morning again keep us updated on where you are and what's going on. Like Kenneth Luther 25 degrees in Holly Springs. Good morning to you as well. Uh, Jacksonville, Torres Q. Finney, welcome to the show pretty much. Uh, welcome from Munford, Tammy Hunt, thanks for joining us as well. Amy, Amy Tate Poston, welcome to the show. Hopefully Sarah's doing well for this time of the year and also seeing a lot of other check-ins throughout the rest of the area so far, so pretty quiet across much of the area for right now, so not seeing any major problems out there at this time. Again, if you'd like to see more about the forecast, this is what we're taking a look at here. Again, for today, a little bit on the cooler side, not as warm as it used to be, and that's good and bad news out there. We'll explain why in just a little bit, but mid to upper 30s are about as warm as we're going to be getting at this point in time. Trina Lenon, hope I'm saying that right, Lenon from Orlando, Florida, welcome to the show at this point in time. Uh, also, again, see where we got Fort Worth, Bifocals and two-point typeface don't mix too well. Connie Turner, Fort Worth 60s for highs today. New Albany, Ethelda, Ethida, Camper, Delaney, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, McGee, Mississippi, 27 degrees. Twin, don't that, thank you very much uh, for sticking around. Kevin Bowers, three coffee cup day. I'm already on six. I don't know about three. We'll talk, take a look at that a little bit later. Right now, from our nation's capital, from the National Park Services, dozens of webcams available for you to take a look at, and this is the one that overlooks the Beltway, the Potomac, and back toward the Capitol building. Clear blue skies. It looks nice but it's breezy and cold out there as that last storm system departs, and we've got some very cold air in place. If you'd like to see more of these, follow the hashtag opt, O-P-T, opt outside, or hashtag find your park on Twitter. Great opportunity to see more about travel tips, hints and tricks about the parks out there, and photography, some great photography from the National Park Service. This one from the National Mall webcam available at nps.gov. Here's a little way to, again, sh see what the remnants of the snowstorm was like. The view from Dock Square in Kennebunkport, Maine. Temperature right now, 1.3 degrees below zero. So that gives you an idea as to what you're looking at, and feet drift of snow around the town square. So definitely a very brisk morning out that direction. If you go during sunnier times, uh, right back there around the Kennebec River, there's the Clam Shack, got some great seafood. So if you have a chance to go during warmer conditions, that'll be a good opportunity for you to take a look around there. Back into the Mid-South, plenty of sunshine, some high thin clouds drifting on through Heidelberg Elementary around Clarksdale, one of our Weatherbug cameras, live camera from I-240 and Poplar showing traffic light and moving along. Good visibility at this time. No major problems being seen here with travel across much of the area for right now. So again, pretty quiet for the time being. 
Likewise, into and around the area of South Haven, Mississippi, I-55 and Goodman Road. Traffic moving along very well for this morning, so no problems being seen here and no problems being seen at the airport either. So good news at this time for travelers. Partly cloudy skies, according to the National Weather Service. Main thing you want to look at is this icon right here. Delays of 15 minutes or less being reported, so good travel conditions here. Likewise, not seeing any slowdowns early Saturday morning but we could still see some slowdowns later on. JFK Airport was closed a couple of days ago due to that strong nor'easter storm that moved on through the area, dropping feet of snow, flooding around Boston. San Francisco was shut down uh, with travel for a while due to fog and a little bit of breezy conditions there. And Newark was catching some of the backup of that yesterday. So if you're traveling by air this morning, looks like things are moving along pretty well at this point in time. 14 degrees in East Tennessee. Betty Dotson, thank you very much uh, for that at this point. Thanks to everybody for dropping on by uh, for this morning. 16 degrees in Jacks Creek, Tennessee. Katrina Eggenberger, thank you very much for that. Maxine Thomas, 22 in Middleton, ready for summer. About 72 days and counting right there and making us all feel very nice. Nice. Raphael Kern, negative one in Lansing, Michigan. Thank you very much for that reminder about how much colder it could be around parts of the country. Currently on Storm Tracker 3S, we have little, if anything, going on in the way of precipitation and doubtful we're really going to be seeing too much of anything at this time. We're watching back to the west to see if anything starts developing, but probably not going to see anything in the way of rain out here until after midnight tonight and then moving into the Mid-South as we get into around tomorrow, lunchtime, Sunday. Sunday afternoon or so. Storm system still has to cross the Rockies and get a little bit more organized before it brings up a lot more moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. So not much going on here except for the cold temperatures back in the teens and lower 20s into and around the area for this morning. And again, there is that occasional wind chill. Northeast winds at 9, Osceola High School in Osceola, Arkansas, that's taking your wind chills down into the single digits this morning. So definitely want to make certain you're bundled up before you head out the door. You can access this information. Again, go to this website, wreg.com slash weather to find out more about that. Tamala Anderson, 58 degrees in San Diego. Thank you very much for reminding us how much nicer it could be in some parts of the country as well. Roger E. Lally, hope I'm saying that right. Somerset, Pennsylvania, minus uh, four this morning. Thank you very much for that. South Fulton, Tennessee, Mary Jewel, 16 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report. And if you're just joining us, location and weather reports, if you got them, into the comments section. would love to see where you're checking in from. Now, rest of the day today, it's not going to be, again, in the way of much colder, as in, say, Arctic blast slamming into the area. But through early this afternoon, temperatures will be just a shade colder than yesterday. Now, down around Oxford, Clarksdale, Batesville, in that area, you might scrape fairly close to 40 degrees. Rest of the Mid-South is going to be relatively chilly back in the 20s and 30s for today. Uh, that's going to be about as good as it gets. Now into tonight, a couple things start to happen. Number one, more moisture starts to move on through. Gray colors indicates clouds cover as we go into daybreak tomorrow. Number two, is that we start to see the winds turn back up out of the south and east. And that's significant because that's going to help to keep the warmer air in place as the moisture heads on through. Now, a couple of days ago, the models were showing more temperatures close to around the lower 30s. And in this case, it's going to be too warm by tomorrow afternoon for anything but rainfall. So it's doubtful we're going to be seeing much of anything else in the way of rain mixed with snow. Now, toward the higher elevations of the plateau into and around Nashville, uh, back to any Anywhere east of the Tennessee River, there could be a rain-snow mixture coming down. Iffy at best. Again, temperatures may not be making it quite that cold enough, but it could be that close to see some snow mixed with rainfall here. Looks like we're just going to see plain rainfall as we get into around Sunday evening, and those winds continue out of the southeast. So it will be a cold rain, no question about that, but it does not look to be anything in the way of frozen precipitation. Now, some of the computer models, again, Temperatures very close to freezing, especially toward the Tennessee River where we see those chances of rain mixed with snow. So anything east of Memphis, south of Jackson, and around the Tennessee River Valley into northeast Mississippi and west Tennessee, the eastern parts of west Tennessee toward the Tennessee River, I would not be surprised to see some rain mixed with either sleet or snow as we get into tomorrow evening and early Monday morning. But I don't think we're looking at any accumulations out there. Uh, could be, again, a sloppy community 
commute early Monday morning. So if you are going to be traveling early, you're going to have this to deal with. So definitely want to allow for some extra time to get to where you're going just to be on the safe side. Uh, let's see who we got here. Millington 22, Edith Billings Mann. Thank you very much. Uh, Lisa Cannon Mergle, Drip Water Still. I would definitely do that. I've been doing that at home just to be on the safe side. A couple of drops of water every few minutes. And again, letting that go down the drain is going to be a lot more easy to absorb on your water bill than a water break is going to be. So yeah, I would continue to drip the water uh, for the time being. Even though it's going to get a little bit warmer, keep that in mind anytime the temperature starts to go below freezing for a couple of days. Just a good idea for household purposes because again, you can easily get that taken care of on your water bill. Now one other thing to mention as these temperatures rise, for the kids out there, if there's a body of water nearby, and we talked about this yesterday, if there's a body of water nearby that has that ice on top of it, and you've seen some pictures of people walking out on them or even playing hockey, we did a story on that on News Channel 3 a couple of days ago. Here's the thing about the temperatures. They're going to be weakening the ice. The sun's going to be shining on that ice, melting it from the top down. It's going to be weaker as the days go along. So if you think you can get out on that ice and have no problem, think again. Don't risk it. Please stay off the ice if you have any chance of going out there. The kids do not need to be on that. My own wife, uh, her class a couple of years ago, she had a student who broke through the ice and had to be rescued. So again, please let's try to avoid anything involving that type of situation. So play it safe. Stay off the ice. It looks pretty, but don't even try to walk on anything like that out there. Even though you may think it's thick enough to support you, you go into that water, hypothermia almost immediately starts to set in as it soaks you down. And that is a life-threatening situation. So please keep that in mind out there throughout the next couple of days. 13 in Guys, Tennessee. Welcome to the show. Lee Pipkins, thank you very much. 19 in Wallet, Mississippi. Debbie Kennemore, thank you very much. Ricky Lee, 18 in Rutherford. Rutherford, yes, thank you. Sorry, bifocals acting up for this morning uh, at this point in time. Trina Lennon, cold in Orlando, Florida at 56 degrees. Terribly sorry to hear about that. Uh, again, this is where we're seeing some fairly cool conditions out there for today. Mid to upper 30s, that's about the extent of the temperatures. Now tomorrow, rainfall chances develop into the mid-afternoon hours. I really don't think we're going to see too much before about lunchtime. And temperatures tomorrow night only back in the lower 40s for the most part, not seeing too much of a dip on the numbers, but some parts of the Mid-South, east of Memphis, could see some numbers back into the mid to lower 30s, so we could see maybe some rain mixed with snow early on, but not seeing a lot of that. Rainfall chances end by about Monday evening around rush hour, and then into the next couple of days, some really nice weather. Here's the surprise we were talking about earlier, upper 50s to lower 60s, a very nice change in the weather. We'll be seeing some more rainfall chances toward week's end, and yes, we'll be back in the 30s by the time we hit Friday, so some more cold rain showing up here. Now, into the weekend, temperatures improve a bit back in the mid-40s by next Sunday, and for the Martin Luther King Jr. federal holiday coming up next Monday, at this time of the year, we can get some really powerful cold air, winter weather, even severe weather and some pretty good chances of rainfall. The really good news that for the day of volunteering and service coming up into next Monday, things are looking very nice. So for the volunteer groups, we're going to be going out for a day on for service instead of a day off. It looks great out there for getting, again, the neighborhood spruced up, picking up trash, uh, volunteering at the library, whatever it is you're going to be doing for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It looks very nice out there. Temperatures even close to normal. Added extra bonus right there for weather for outdoor purposes. So looking very good in the Mid-South as we go into the federal holiday coming up on January the 15th. We'll keep our eyes on anything that may develop out there. Remember that we are getting into our main severe weather season toward late January. That's when it starts, and it finishes up somewhere about April into May. So now's the time to get ready for that, and we'll help you do that here on News Channel 3. So stay tuned for more there. Got pictures around the Mid-South. Beautiful sunrise out there today. If you'd like to send those in, Tweet them to me at aonic underscore WREG3, also on my own Facebook page or on my Instagram page or on many other social media pages out there as well. Don't have any to show for this morning, but if you got them, send them in and we'll post them on social media. Also, keep up to date with my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. I'll be glad to keep you updated throughout the rest of the weekend. A uh, longer edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, will be coming 
coming up at the bottom of the hour on my Facebook page, also on Periscope and Twitter. And on this edition, we'll be talking more about whether where the troops are. If you have friends, loved ones, relatives stationed overseas, We'll take a special look at what the weather is doing in certain parts of the world where American troops are stationed, South Korea, uh, back toward Afghanistan and Iraq, and also in various other spots around the globe. So stay tuned for more on that. That will be coming up here in just about 15 minutes or so on my Facebook page, so you can stay tuned for more there. I'm going to have to uh, finish up here for this morning. So again, thanks to everybody for dropping on by and leaving their comments and their weather reports out there. Tommy Jones. Uh, heat wave in Hernando, 23 degrees. Wow, sounds absolutely balmy. Thank you very much for that. Uh, thanks to everybody else for checking on through. Lisa Cannon Mergle, what about pets? Yes, uh, indoors. If it's too cold for you outdoors, it's too cold uh, for them. Make certain that if they are outdoor pets, they have adequate shelter. And if you see anybody out there who has a pet chained outdoors, no food, no water, and especially in this weather, no shelter, that can be considered animal neglect, and that is a misdemeanor crime in all 50 states and rapidly moving toward felony status in a lot of state legislatures. So if you see pets out there, contact your local authorities. If you're in and around Shelby County in Memphis, contact the Memphis Humane Society. They work with the Shelby County Sheriff Department to open investigations on people who have pets but don't take care of them properly. Don't confront, but get evidence and turn that over to Memphis Shelby County Humane Society and or the Sheriff's Department or find out who's the best shelter in your area and get more information from them about what's going on out there. Thanks to everybody for checking on in. And again, stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend. Complete forecast available here and our seven-day forecast as well at wrg.com slash weather. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I can't answer questions I don't know about, so please contact me right here at austin.onic at wrg.com. Another check of your forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. So stay tuned for more there. And of course, I'll have more coming up at 8. 30 just past on these social media networks, so stay tuned for more on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. More coming up throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3, on air and online.